One more very cool example of how we can use the Launchpad Pro in more of a standalone MIDI mode is with Novation's newest device, which is called Circuit. Uh, I've got these two connected together. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use the external MIDI fader mode on the Launchpad Pro to manipulate some parameters of one of my synth sounds on Circuit. Now, the way that Circuit works, Synth Parts 1 and Synth Parts 2 send and receive MIDI on Channels 1 for Synth Part 1 and Channel 2 for Synth Part 2. So if I want to manipulate some parameters of one of my synth parts, i got to be exporting MIDI on the appropriate channel. Now before we do all that, I have a little drum beat on circuit. I'm going to go ahead and fire that up right now. Very, very simple beat. I have it set up so that the note mode on the Launchpad Pro, I can trigger synth part one. Let's go ahead and change this to a different sound. There we go. So I'm going to record something directly onto circuit, and then from there I'm going to switch to the fader mode, and we'll start manipulating some of these parameters in real time. Again, just to illustrate how we can use the Launchpad Pro without relying on the computer. So let me record here. So we got that going on now. Turn record off. I'm going to go ahead and go into my fader mode, hold setup. Make sure that's outputting on channel one. And the way that circuit works, these eight knobs will affect the synth parameters, and these are basically CC80 all the way up through CC87. They happen to be the same CCs or control change numbers that the fader mode sends as well. So, So again, even without a computer, the Launchpad Pro can be used in a lot of different ways. And again, just gives you a different way to interact with some of your old mini gear or some of your new gear as well. Having this velocity sensitive fader mode, as well as having that chromatic note layout, it just breathes new life into a lot of the MIDI gear that you might have had sitting and collecting dust.